after 10, I'd like to thank everyone for coming today uh, to the December 16th Osher County Board of Supervisors meeting. <coughs> the auditor is in place. We can begin. Yeah. Yeah. It's just that. Yeah. Uh, oh, very right. smooth today. <coughs> First time on the agenda is for the previous meeting minutes. So, second. Motion second. One of you two guys want to say anything? Okay. Call for vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion passes. Item number two is received in place on the file for drainage repairs. Today we have one for drainage district number 247, joint with uh, number seven of Humboldt, uh, branch lateral number 295 in Badger Township. It says it needs to have a broken tile line repaired and a new culvert put into the ditch and it's turned in by Scott Peterson. <coughs> so Chairman, I'll move that we receive a place on file for red change repair. Second. Motion and second, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Item number three is to approve the hiring of Brad McIntyre as Assistant County Attorney for salary of $57,887.50, effective December 22nd, 2014, as per the recommendation of Jennifer Benson, Webster County Attorney. Chairman, I move it. Item three. I'll second that motion, Mr. Chairman. I have a motion and second. Do we have a discussion? Ms. Benson, would you care to address the board today? Sure. Um, apparently, you have to be really thin yeah, to address the board that's today. Too <laughs> I'm requesting that the board approve the hiring of Brad McIntyre as an assistant county attorney. Uh, the starting salary that I have offered Mr. McIntyre is within our office's pay scale and it's also within our budget. I also took his experience um, into consideration when determining his salary. He's been a practicing attorney here in Fort Dodge for 15 months. Um, one of the things that made him stand out to me as clearly the best candidate for the position out of our applicants is his experience in the criminal justice system and working with our judges and our court personnel. Also, multiple law enforcement officers have commented, commented to me that they're impressed with his work in the courtroom um, and outside of the courtroom. I'm confident that Mr. McIntyre will be a great addition to our office, and our entire staff is looking forward to starting with him on Monday. Questions for Ms. Benson? I understand there were 20 applicants. There were. There were 20 applicants, and we interviewed four. Seeing no question, no further questions, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion passes. And the board is to authorize the chair to sign the lease agreement with the county and the recorder's office. Second. We have a motion to second. Is the recorder here to address the board? Um, this, this isn't really a new lease. We've had a lease, a five year lease on this machine, and we're just extending it for two more years. So we just need. So we get a new auditor, but old or new recorder, but, but old, old machine. Uh, old machine. Old, 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 old. Instead of trying to switch to a new machine, we're going to let Lindsay just kind of see how this. We've had good luck with this machine. Great company, great maintenance, and everything. So rather than having her get into something new until she sees exactly what she's going to need, um, we just decided to go ahead and extend it instead of locking her into a five-year lease on something that she may not want to work with. So. Have you heard or seen from the new recorder yet? <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Seeing that, all in favor say aye. Aye. Motion passes. Item number five. We should receive in place on file funding request for fiscal year 2016 from the Public Agency. Now is the time for a public hearing on a proposal to enter into a first amended and restated agreement for private development with a new cooperative. I'll start by saying, asking the auditor if we receive any written comments. No written comments, please. None were received. So at this time, we will uh, open it up for public input. Um, does anyone have any questions? 
questions um, regarding the changes that are being made to the agreement with the new cooperative on the land use property?
And so what are we really forgiving? Back taxes for way back or taxes between when Midwest bought it and how all those are due. This would be um, what we're requesting is from 
as usual. We come every year to address the board and thank you for the support that you've given to the libraries to provide services for the rural patrons that live outside the uh, city boundaries in Webster County. And we again would request for the next year that we would see at least that amount of money. We'd like to stay at least held harmless. We all have had increases, of course, this year. Um, we all participate in some online services. Harcourt is going to join the shared automation system that we have in uh, most of Webster County for our libraries. And so they will see an increase in expense. And so if it's possible to see an increase in funding, we would love to see that. What percentage do you think that you're seeing in increased uh, uh, budgetary expenditures? Well, I know that
we're working part time. So we're seeing a lot more foot traffic, certainly. Now that your librarians refer to uh, grants, would those be federal or state grants? Probably local, actually. Uh, most of them are local grants. Uh, they would be probably from the Smelter Foundation and from the Deardorff Foundation. Um, where else are you writing? Are those primarily where you're writing? Mm -hmm. So they're local. So. I wish they could be state grants. Um, most all of them, I think, file for the two uh, state library opportunities. They have the Rich Iowa uh, grant through the State Library of Iowa, which awards money for meeting certain standards, minimum standards that the libraries need to adhere to. Uh, they do receive money. They also receive money, uh, most likely, from um, the Open Access and Interlibrary Loan Reimbursement Program, which is the sharing program of materials across the state of Iowa amongst all the libraries. So uh, they do receive some money from that. And then they also all apply for uh, E-Rate, which is a federal program, which helps cover the telecommunications and internet costs for public libraries. And there were three of us today filling out forms uh, to provide uh, that funding. It's based on the free and reduced lunch program, and many of the, of the libraries are eligible for between 60 and 70, maybe even 80% reduction in their internet and, and telephone bills because of that program, and that's a federal program. This probably would be classified as blowing smoke.